there, I am KX90. Welcome back to part 2 of the introduction to Airbeat by Make It. We will start with the frame where we will mount the landing gear. You will need 4 bolts and 4 of these, then take the rubber band that will hold the battery and fasten it. Then mount the engines. Attach the wrench first, then the engine. It is important that the engines are attached correctly with these colors on the cable, like this. Remember that the tip of the engine is going up. Then we pull the cables from the engines through the large holes that is closest to the engine. Then pull the cable out to the side. Attach 4 bolts to the air bit just like this. It is important not to screw too hard. If you do that you can damage the air bits and the bolts. Now we are going to use two white bolts and fasten them with the end of the bolt upwards. Then we need one microbeat, we're going to attach it to the airbeats. We do that like this with four nuts. Fasten the nuts tight enough so that there is enough contact between the microbeat and the airbeat for you to get a signal, but not too tight. Be very careful when using pliers as I do now, as this can damage the components. The best thing you can do is to use a 5.5mm socket wrench. Then we will attach the micro bit to the frame of the air bit. For that we only need two nuts. Make sure that the cables from the engines is lined out to the side. Now we're going to attach the cables from the engines to the air bit. Attach the cables to the nearest connection points as shown here. Attach the battery to the rubber band like this. You don't need to connect the battery to the air bit just yet, but I will still show you how to do that. This is all that you need to do to mount and attach everything before the coding begins. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for part 3.